Hi, this is Jason here from WA Building Movers. Today we're going to talk about flood proofing and ways that we can actually help to reduce your flood insurance. Remember, flood proofing, if you are in compliance with FEMA regulations and guidelines, this ultimately helps you possibly not to have future flooding and ideally to cut your flood insurance going forward. One important step that's been implemented uh, is the implementation of floods, uh, flood vents. This was a item that was actually made in 1986 for the purpose of not allowing the water once it does enter your foundation to create so much pressure that it would ideally blow your foundation out. So what these vents do is they allow the pressure that's created by the water that may just come inside due to heavy rainfalls, due to flooding, due to a number of other means to be able to be released without causing too much pressure to your foundation where it will basically buck or destroy or cause damage to your foundation. I'm going to read you a few points here about the process of flood vents and their purpose. The flood vent must work automatically without human intervention. Basically, that it, this is, say you have a rental property and you're two hours away, you wouldn't have to drive down there and put these into progress if a heavy rainfall was coming or ideally there was a, a storm that you need to stay clear of. The flood vent must be bi-directional, meaning that it will allow uh, water flow in and also to flow out. On uh, one thing, it's so much important, so important to not allow the water pressure to blow your foundation out. However, it's, it goes both ways where if water is to build up against your foundation from the exterior, it could all have the same effect. Also, it must allow for the automatic entry and, and exit of flood water, which we were just talking about. The flood vent must allow debris to pass through and not get clogged in a grill. So with water does come debris as it does flow in any which direction. The flood vent must be have open access so it does basically allow the access of this and it doesn't basically deter the, the access of water to come in and out of the foundation.